is number 22. Um, this was done by India, Sabrina, Marianne, and the challenge owner was Andreas Hartmann. We start for, we, we will start a recording. We started recording already, so the stage is yours, please. Okay, next slide, please. Why do people seek alternative accommodations? It's not necessarily because they want to be unsafe or uncomfortable, or that they really like that feeling of waking up all sore after a poor night's sleep in a less than perfect bed. In fact, the bed has nothing to do with what they're looking for. What they want is an adventure off the beaten path. They'll remember the unique experience of brushing their teeth over a mountain stream or making a meal with their own hands or sipping their evening cocktail in front of a view that hasn't been Instagrammed a million times before. Remember as a kid how you used to like to camp outside in the backyard? Being out there, we fe felt the sense of autonomy and adventure, but having our home just a few meters away meant we could always go back if it got cold or we got scared or if we just got tired. We're all just big kids now in need of a bigger backyard to explore. This backyard is the Grisons and with its majestic mountains, bountiful forests, stay on the last slide, please. <laughs> we'll move on in a second. Bountiful forests and, okay, never mind. Um, unique cultural heritage, the home to run back to when it gets cold. Well, that's one of hundreds of small remote hotels tucked away in the Grisons hidden valleys, ready to take you in when the storm hits. So our solution is AltVenture, and as in this slide, we can see it's for anyone. It's for families with children, adventure seekers, office workers, city dwellers, corporate teams looking to build their teams, as well as couples. And what all these people want is the same thing. They want adventure with lasting memories, but they still want a certain degree of comfort or safety, which to varying degrees, depending who it is. They want to create bonds with each other and with nature, and they don't want to invest too much time in the planning. And at the end, they also want to um, experience something new. And I, I can't see it on my screen, but I think there's one more point there about building resilience through mental and physical uh, well-being. And this Altventure, our solution, which is bespoke adventure solutions for people, also benefits the entire region. Click. One click, please. Uh, it should benefit the entire Grisons industry with the hotels and holiday homes that are struggling with occupancy, as well as local business owners, aspiring tour managers, and many more. So let's see how it looks. Click. A boring evening in front of the TV. Let's have an adventure. Go to the Adventure Grisons platform, set our preferences, and let's go. The adventure can start the next day. It will take us from Zurich to Elands, where we do not know what's gonna expect us afterwards. We arrive in the beautiful valley of Lumetia, where our first task is waiting to find our lunch and cook it like back in the days. But also, the natural educational aspect is not missing out. We're gonna feel nature and learn about it. Strolling around the Kraina beautiful landscape and in Frin the adventure takes off. We are gonna get all adventurous by building our own tent and when the sun is setting it's getting all cozy in front of the fire. But then for a good night of sleep we're gonna sneak out five minutes from the place to our hotel because the better starts the day just starts better when you had a good night of sleep. And the next day we can wake up at the hotel in Frin and enjoy the nice architecture of John Gamenada. Next slide, please. A boring evening in front of boring evening in front of the <laughs> One of the key components to Altventure is the role of the memory maker who actually creates this bespoke adventure for the customer. This memory maker connects to them via the Alt Alt Venture digital platform, which is a platform for all stakeholders. Actually, the adventure seeker connects with their memory maker. People from the village locals can actually upload concepts and ideas that they have for micro tours that can be tested there. The memory maker then uses these modular concepts to put together the ideal adventure and does so in a way to, to keep in, in mind the law in all these situations. And then finally, we have a bi-weekly all hands meeting where all the stakeholders come together and ensure shared value and constant improvement on the service. 
Next slide, please. We do perceive some challenges. However, we see these all as opportunities. Um, there might be a mindset gaps where locals fear something new. However, we see an opportunity for young people to step in, people who are not part of the tourism game prior to this, to become micro tour managers or memory makers. We see that maybe the lack of product service ownership could be there since the tourism industry may not have the capacity to take on this role. However, we see this as an opportunity for out of the box hosts to join the tourism game. Again, brands like adventure brands like Patagonia or Swiss brands like Victorian Ox or health insurance companies. And then finally, what is it about the fear of damage to the region? Um, trash coming in or loss of culture. We actually see Alt Venture as being the opposite of this. Um, we see us as minimizing waste by using existing infrastructure and services and not creating something new and really having an opportunity to be attractive as a whole region and not just one industry. And I think my time's up. Yes, I think so too. <laughs> so, you presented very lively and there might be room, there is room for one question. Challenge owner has been Andreas Hartmann. Yes, sorry, Andreas is or oh, Andres, sorry, is not online. Um, I did work with the group on his behalf, and I would like to thank you for this amazing presentation and this um, very interesting concept you've come up with. Um, I have no question at the moment, but I'm sure as soon as the whole content has sunk in, I will come back to you with a few questions. But thank you very much. It was amazing to listen to you.